Good morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions. Thank you for our time together. Well, we're getting ready to go minister, but right now I wanted to take a moment to be with you from this beautiful setting in Accra. And I do have to admit, the air is absolutely amazing to breathe. It's like it's like being in the province, okay? I mean, it's just amazing air to breathe. But right now I want to take you back to one of my favorite passages in the book of Romans. It's a verse that says, may the God of hope That is God. He is the God of hope. Hope is the confident expectation of future good. God is not the God of depression. God is not the God of discouragement. He's the God of eternal encouragement. He's the God of hope. Now may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, so that by the power of the Holy Spirit you may abound in hope. Some of you today, you are so discouraged, and you are so dismayed, and you are so depressed And you think that, forgive me, a pill is going to make you feel better. Or some of you, please forgive me, you think that a bottle of wine is going to make you feel better. But you don't understand, wine is a depressant, it just makes you worse. Brothers and sisters, if you are depressed, if you are discouraged, come into the presence of the God of hope. Come into the presence of the God of hope and let him readjust your heart, tune up your heart, readjust your attitude. He will fill you with all joy. He will fill you with peace. He will touch you by the power of the Holy Ghost. The power of the Holy Ghost is like a catalyst, and it mixes peace and joy together. And all of a sudden, the whole world looks different. Your circumstances have not changed, but your attitudes have changed. Let God rearrange your attitudes. Don't look to a pill, and don't look to a bottle. Look to the God of hope.